Yo guys, welcome to episode four. I'm Nikki, and this is my boyfriend, Harry. In November 2020, after recently graduating university, Harry and I decided to take on the biggest project we've ever known, a minibus camper van conversion. This is our new van. So we bought a 2009 17-seater Ford Transit minibus, which we are currently converting into our tiny home on wheels. Once our van conversion is complete, we plan to hit the road in April 2021 to travel around Europe. We hope this conversion will give us the freedom, adventure and spontaneity we've been longing for over the two UK lockdowns we've experienced. We're posting a new video every Saturday, so subscribe to our channel and become a part of our ambitious project. In today's episode, we're going to be doing our wall insulation and our ceiling insulation. And that's going to allow us to get to our next step of cladding, which we're most excited for. We'll put some pictures up now of what it will look like, so you guys can get an idea of what's coming for us. Ugh. Let's go! Woo! So today we're going to do all of our wall insulation. And to do this, we're going to use this thermo fleece insulation that we got online. I think it was like £30 for one roll and we're using this spray adhesive, it's heavy duty. This is from Poundland, so we got two for two pounds. So yeah, let's do it. So we started by cutting and ripping up the insulation into pieces that would fit each part of the van walls. Some of it could sit in the crevices without using any glue to hold it up. Whilst other bits needed some spray adhesive to secure it to the wall properly. We ended up using two 27 pound rolls to cover all the walls including the insulation we stuck into the beams on the roof of the minibus too. Then it was time for the vapour barrier to go over our insulation. This took about three times longer than we thought it would take. It's an easy task, but it's just quite time consuming. We used about two rolls of Reflectix insulation roll from Wix, along with aluminium waterproof foil tape to secure the Reflectix to the walls. Wait, it's video. <laughs> oh. I guess this is a good time to plug our Instagram. Yeah, so follow our Instagram at The Ambitious Project so you can see photos like this. And like this. And like this. And you can follow our progress with us. Make sure you go follow that. At what? The Van Ambitious Project. Back to the video. We then got on with the ceiling insulation. So the items we needed were 9mm plywood strips. 25mm polystyrene or sellotex A bread knife to cut the polystyrene with A tape measure A ruler or piece of wood to make markings on the polystyrene with And some more Reflectix insulation roll So here we are cutting up our 9mm plywood sheet into 6 12cm thick strips which will be screwed to the metal beams of our van ceiling We measured the plywood, cut the strips out with our jigsaw and sanded down the edges. Then we cut our pieces of polystyrene that would sit in between the plywood strips on the ceiling. I then wrapped one side of them in some Reflectix to protect the polystyrene from any condensation that might gather on the ceiling. For our roof insulation we're going to be using our off-cut to plywood which is nine millimeters thick and we just, we just went ahead and measured the width of the van and got some off-cuts and hopefully they'll fit on top of their beams just like that. We're going to be using our Gorilla Glue that we've uh, bought from Amazon. Amazon. Link will be in the description below. Um, and yeah, we're just going to glue them up here, drill through them with our electric drill down there, and yep. then put in some easy screw screws, and hopefully, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, easy drives. And then we're just going to, easy drives. <laughs> and then we're just going to pop our insulation between them, and hopefully the overhang on the ply will be just enough to hold the insulation up onto the roof for us. Yeah, so we'll have one centimetre of overhang on each side. Mm hmm Exactly. You said it. Cool. Mum's gonna fall away. Okay, we'll just swap then. You need to be able like just swap then. Oh, 
wins in a row. Yeah, four, we're f two, four and two now. That's my shit. That, we're fucking back, man. I'm fucking rating this formation. That looks good. What are you doing? It's screwing it into. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this week's video and hopefully it was helpful to other people doing their van builds. Make sure to like and subscribe guys because hopefully there's going to be way more exciting videos to come like next week's video which will be... Our cladding! Our cladding and doing more of the interior shell of the van so you'll actually see it start coming together rather than all the boring stuff that's going to be behind the walls. Yeah. If you want to keep up with that sort of stuff, make sure you guys go follow the Instagram that was mentioned earlier in the video. At The Van Bishop Project. The link will be in the description below. And if you're wondering where any of our products are from, we also have our links below in our PDF files. So check them out if you're doing the same thing because I found that really helpful when other people did that. So yeah, hopefully that'll help and hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. So we'll see you next week. See you next week. Peace. Bye.